energy can neither be created, nor be destroyed. This is most probably the most cited, and one of the most important phrases in science. We have been learning this phrase, probably from our primary schools. But what if the statement is incorrect, and perfect energy sources present? What if we can create energy or worse, we can destroy it? What would happen then? Well, let us find out. This is facts, figures, and theories. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon, so that don't miss another update from us. What if sun would not be the only source of light? What if fossil fuel would not be the only source of natural gas? What if we could create our own gas for our vehicles? Let us address the bigger picture here. What would happen if energy could be created or destroyed? Physics as a whole would be meaningless. Everything, at least everything we have seen so far, depends on the law of conservation of energy. From Newtonian mechanics to nuclear physics, think about it, all our material science, marginalized. Another thing is, all the trade wars, energy crisis, disputes over non-renewal source of energy, energy storage, etc. etc. We could go on and on, would be worthless with a single discovery. If we could find a way to create energy, the world's energy problem would be solved. Essentially, the way we think would changed. We think, as everyday beings, that if there is a certain something, it is understood that there existed a pioneer to that certain something. The sun, the sole star of our galaxy, would not be as important as it is today, as the major source of energy. Solar energy would not be of that importance, as we can create our own form of energy. We basically use the solar energy, in each and every step of our life, be it by the plant in photosynthesis, or using it as light in daytime, from mega projects of solar electricity, to basic household heating of water. This all can be done by our very own energy. Also, we would not be needing any gravitational force for centrifugal and centripetal energy including the tidal waves. We could create our own tidal waves. And we could also create our own surfing tides. This is one of the most important rules that scientists have found which describes natural phenomena. Unfortunately, there is no non-circular proof of energy conservation in the end. All laws of physics that we know of are the result of observation, formation of hypotheses, making predictions, and testing them. Conservation of energy is one such law. If energy could be created or destroyed, all of our ideas of how the world works would have to be modified in some way, and we'd learn something very confusing. But so far, energy seems not to be created or destroyed. Energy can be converted from one form to another. Mechanical energy, such as the kinetic energy of motion, can be converted to heat energy, for example in the heating of a car's brakes when it slows down. Chemical energy in the gasoline of the car can be converted into both heat energy in the exhaust and heating the engine, and into mechanical energy to move the car. Potential energy, such as the gravitational potential energy stored in an object which is on a high shelf, can be converted into kinetic energy as the object falls down. Electrical energy can be converted to heat or mechanical energy, or sound energy in a variety of useful ways around the house using common appliances. It does not matter if energy can be converted from one form to another. It may seem that energy is created, but the total energy in the system remains the same. It does not change a bit. Now let us think for a while, what if we convert energy into nothingness? What if we could destroy energy? As per physics, you cannot destroy energy. The law of conservation of energy is one of the most fundamental laws of physics and has never been known to be violated. If you destroy energy, it will get created in some other form or at some other place. You can violate conservation of energy, but when you average out over any time scale and on any energy scale that's meaningful to humans, you get conservation of energy. Even if you don't violate conservation of energy, you can create matter, meaning mass from energy and energy from mass. In particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, use the energy of the collisions to create new particles with mass. The technology needed to create particles from energy and then assemble those particles into useful objects is incredibly far-fetched. In addition, the amount of energy required would be immense so no one would want to pay for it. What do you think about this? Please write us in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button and share the video. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from us. Thank you for being with us till the end of the video.